Vayikra. The following vort comes from Rabbi Avram Yitzchak HaKohen Kook and is adapted from his work Otsaros Hariya and Olas Riya. In the writings of the Kabbalists, we find a remarkable description of how the world will look in the future, a world vastly changed from our current reality. All aspects of the world will be elevated. Even the animals in that future era will be different. They will advance to the level of people nowadays. Shar HaMitzvos of the Arizal. Obviously, no sacrifice could be offered from such human-like animals. At that time, there will no longer be strife and conflict between the species. Human beings will no longer need to take the lives of animals for their physical, moral, and spiritual needs. It is about this distant time that the Midrash makes the startling prediction all sacrifices will be annulled in the future. Tanhuma Emor 19 and Vayikra Rabba 9.7 The prophet Malachi similarly foretold a lofty world in which the temple service will only consist of grain offerings in place of animal sacrifices of old. Then the grain offering of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to God as in the days of old and as in ancient years. Malachi 3.4 even in the current reality, some may feel uncomfortable about killing animals. This does not mean that the time for full animal rights has fully arrived. Rather, these feelings come from a hidden anticipation of the future that is already ingrained in our souls, like many other spiritual aspirations. Hints of these future changes may be found in the text of the Torah itself. Thus, it says that offerings are slaughtered on the northern side of the altar. Why this side? The north traditionally represents that which is incomplete and lacking. As it is written, out of the north, the evil shall break forth. Jeremiah 1.14 In other words, the need to slaughter animals is a temporary concession to life in an incomplete world. Furthermore, the Torah stipulates that sacrifices must be slaughtered liritzon chem, willingly. Leviticus 19.5 The temple service must correspond to our needs and wants. As the Talmud in Erechen 21a explains, one must be able to say, I want to bring this offering. When the slaughter of animals is no longer generally acceptable to society, this condition will not be fulfilled. Finally, the Torah describes a person offering an animal sacrifice as Adam. Leviticus 1-2. The word, this word indicates our current state of moral decline a result of the sin of Adam, the first man. An individual offering, a grain offering, on the other hand, is called nefesh, or soul, Leviticus 2.1. The word nefesh implies a deeper, more essential level of humanity, independent of any temporary failings. Have a great Shabbos.